Hello everyone, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 5th Edition Edition. Last time, we entered the Putrid Bog and had some combat with many of these redcaps who were pretending to be sheep. Now we were going to move further into the swamp and see what else lays out in the unknown. But before doing that, some very light admin. We just need to do an arcane recovery with Gale and two first level spells or one second level spell. I will take the versatility of the two first level spells. Thank you ever so much. And as for healing, Shadowheart has already spent all of her second level spells and half of her first level spells. And so I think the simplest thing to do here is going to be to take a little short rest. There we go. Looking quite a bit healthier there. Also, we get back a Starian's Vampire Bite, which is very exciting. So let's pull Gale back into the rest of the party. And let's hang a left. And just try and make sure we don't step on anything we shouldn't. The ashy surface there is remnant from the spells that we cast in our combat. Don't need to collect excess wine. I can't be dealing with that. And at this point, I expect a bunch of, I don't know, mud crabs to just come out of the sand in a swamp and attack us, but not so far. If you are new to the series and you're not really sure what's going on when I say 5th edition edition, there's a link in the description that will tell you all about the extra rules that I'm putting on myself to try and make this be more like tabletop Dungeons & Dragons, such as not being able to cast a leveled spell as a main action and a bonus action in the same turn or things like having food not be able to heal us because in tabletop fifth edition non-magical food doesn't heal you so why should it here so nothing out on this small pathway we have found another ancient rune circle so we can use that to fast travel back to camp if we so need to and there's a lovely little archway here our map shows that there's somebody called Gandrel over here. And a little house surrounded by bones and other such wonderful things. Oh, it's up here, not up the staircase. All right, let's go up this way. Hello, Gandrel. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all gur were vagrant cutthroats. Uh, what is a gur? Mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Oh, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. So, who are you hunting? Some or what? Terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold? Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. His name is Astarian. But I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. So we've just learnt a lot of things. One, there's definitely a hag somewhere in this swamp. Two, this person is looking for a Starian, but doesn't know what he looks like, apparently. <laughs> Time for us to go. Good luck with your quest. No, uh, only a spawn. It's not a real vampire. 
I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. He is right, unfortunately. They are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage. But at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. That's, uh, that, <laughs> that's using his name in the sentence. That seems like a terrible idea. We've all survived so far. Let's focus on that. It would still be wise to post guards at night. The threat is real. Indeed it is. We should do something about this threat. I mean, if they're going to kill Astarian or we're going to kill him, Astarian's only done good by us so far, so have your way with him, I guess. Excellent. The vampire? It can't be. Okay, this is not just a simple cinematic fight. We're actually going to do combat here. Let's see. I guess it's... Let's take Shadowheart here. Get up close and personal. Because I want to know if an ally is in within five feet of a foe do we get sneak attack? Nice to start with a crit for nine. Now, Astarian, if you could please sneak attack. Prerequisites, you have advantage or another enemy of the target is within five feet of it and you don't have disadvantage. So, theoretically, this should work. It doesn't say we have advantage on the percentage indicator on the left-hand side. That a shadow heart is there. This should work. Yep, that seemed to work. And bonus action offhand strike. Then Gale is up. Is this person a human? Regardless, 40 HP is probably going to be too much for something like sleep. Not that we have that prepared. That's on Astarian's plate, I think. In that case, let's just go with the simple stuff. And then they get one turn. Hopefully they don't turn a starry into mincemeat in this moment. Concentration. Hunter's Mark and some kind of exploding bolt that did a whole one damage to a starian. And there's a ball... I don't know what the ball is. But Andrew's up, regardless. And we broke his concentration, which is wonderful. Bonus action shillelagh, just in case. And back to the top of the order. They take fire damage. I can deal with that. Shadow Heart. We're already on fire, so I don't know if this is going to cause us more fire damage to move through it. It's not. Astarian, please do your favorite thing. Massive hit. Oh, it's too good not to feast on the guy with our vampire bite, isn't it? That would be too perfect. Happy condition. Astarian's vampiric hunger has been temporarily satisfied. Plus one to all attack rolls, saving throws, and skill checks until next rest. Well, I didn't see that last time we used the bite. It might be because we bit a spider, but I'm certainly happy to have it. And then Gale, would you like to do the honors here to finish this off? A crit for two. Good job. Oh, we burnt to death. That's nice. Can we all please move out of this fire? That'll do. Nothing to say, Astarian? 
Need something? I mean, I was going to ask about the guy we just killed, but you seem to have nothing to say on the matter. Let's see what hunter's tools they had. 12 gold, 2 potions of healing, 2 potions of acid, 1 of fire. Quite worthless with a tired mind. Yes, you are very, very sleepy, Gail, very well. A heavy crossbow, scale mail armor, and I don't need torches. Send to Shadowheart, I guess. And sacks and potions all around. So let's take our fill. Garlic, classic. Potion of healing and a burlap sack, empty. Anything in this awful looking shrine? Seems to be not. Several sprigs of dagger root. Don't know what it's for, but I'm sure at some point we'll learn about some kind of crafting or potion making. But regardless, that is that fight resolved. And now I guess we'll move over towards the house. Shadowheart, you are very injured. I'd like to remedy this somehow. Uh, tell you what. Andrew, you've got all of your spells available, and we have Goodberry prepared. Would you please cast Goodberry, and then give them all to Shadowheart. And Shadowheart, chow down. So this is 1d4. Let's hope for more than 4, and up to 16. I think that's gone reasonably well. Four, two, two, three. Basically average. And with that, let's carry on back round. No ambush. The red caps haven't caused us some problem for not being around any longer. Well. Is this going to be a hole down to a dungeon like the one in the town centre? A fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. Uh, Astarian. You are basically undead anyway. Have a drink. A fetid smell assaults your nostrils. The warm rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger, faster, better. Uh, Astorian received condition refreshed. Maximum HP increased by 10 until the next long rest. Alright, everyone take a drink then. A fetid smell assaults your nose. The warm rush of. Is there going to be some kind of. like really dull min-max way to do this where each character on each fight comes back here drinks from the well and then goes back to yes we know we go back to the druid's grove and they have the horn that give you the rallied condition or does that only last for like 10 rounds either way we have lots of extra health, and I'm very happy about it. There's a back deck. Potion of Greater Healing is nice to see. Grilled ribs. And a closed front door surrounded by baskets and plants and bones and all kinds of horrible stuff. We haven't got round to the north side of the swamp yet, but we won't worry about that for now. And Auntie Ethel is inside, who... What do we know about Auntie Ethel? We learnt that she was keeping two gentlemen's sister here hostage, at least by their account. And a monster hunter said that a hag lived around here and they wanted to make some kind of blood pact. So that can only go well. We didn't prepare protection from fey did we let's protect from poison protect from good and evil create 
Protects a creature against aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. Target can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them, and when these creatures attack it, they do so with advantage. Do I have any scrolls of that? Because that for a Starian to always attack a fey with advantage would be excellent. We have two scrolls of that. I don't know how long it lasts. I presume not for... Um, until a whole long rest has transpired, but... It's good to know that we have them. In fact, I will put them just there for now. Do we bother trying to sneak in? She's right behind this door. We're at 15 minutes. Let's see if this breaks out into a giant fight or not. Uh, and Astarian. Offer guidance to... Shadowheart, since Shadowheart's going to do the talking. Hello. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two. So get to it. Pregnant, I guess. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You took ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. Hmm? Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Uh, I'm going to try and not antagonize this person. Thanks to you. You know, you're lucky. You've helped a very powerful lady. People in dire need travel from all over Faerun to see little old me. And I do my damnedest to help them. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Uh, Shadowheart is half-elf, so why are we getting a human tag? Busy bodies are not appreciated around here. She's a pregnant lady in distress. We can't just stand by and pretend she's not here. I'll talk about your Riggler, and that's it. Last warning. Uh, we'll find another way to take care of it. Yes, because everyone and their mother is an expert on illicit scum. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? The price. Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I'll pluck it from your head. Kiss it for luck. Then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, I'm going to go with no on that, because even if she takes it out and puts it back, I don't think we're going to get that use of that eye back. All right, w will my sight be damaged? A touch, but sure, you have two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. Yeah, that's going to be a hard no from me. In the, uh, I don't know if it's the player's handbook or the dungeon master's guide, but there is a table or a list of lingering injuries, and to go blind in one eye will result in disadvantage on all ranged attacks from then until either you can find some kind of magical way of restoring your eyesight or getting some kind of magical eye. 
and I don't really fancy having disadvantage on all my ranged attacks forever if that is indeed the case. So I will try my luck elsewhere. Can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. Um my door is always open, Petal. Aunt Yettle is here for you. Okay, well we didn't antagonize her into a fight. We didn't even have to roll persuasion or anything. Auntie Ethel is here and Marina has disappeared. I can just walk into homes now. This ah. gets better and better. Astarian is happy about his lot in life as a current vampire. I'm sure lots of these things are going to be empty, but some of them are marked as thieving and some of them aren't, so perhaps the ones that are marked as thieving are going to be the ones worth looking through. Oh, a pig's head and a raw steak. I would take it, but it's 20 weight, and we are quite well stocked for food back at camp. So I guess we'll take a cursory look around here. I know there was a potion of greater healing on the back balcony here, and that's not stealing. Steak, wicker baskets, all the classic things you see in a house built into the side of a tree. Antitoxin. I'll take it. Is it the shape of a frog? It is the shape of a frog. No, that's a toad teapot. That's the antitoxin. <laughs> Can I put the antitoxin in the toad teapot, please? That would be adorable. Basic poison. Alright. I think what we're going to do is... I'm going to give it a little pause here. Collect any other freestanding loot and try and not antagonize Auntie Ethel. And then next time we'll see how this whole equation is going to resolve. So let me just pick through our things and I'll report back and then we'll leave for today and come back tomorrow. So there are a couple of things to find. We found some antitoxin, the basic poison we know about. Uh... And otherwise, some general herbs and flowers. But we can see all around there's kind of potion of healing there, potion of greater healing, potion of greater healing up here, potion of healing there, a couple of chests around. But all of that stuff would be stealing right now. And our favorite carafe of water. Uh, all of that stuff would be stealing. And I'm not going to steal to end antagonize this fight i'm going to either try and get a bunch of sneak attacks in or surprise her somehow i'm tempted also to have a starry and try and pick her pockets to see if there's anything of value there that we can remove from her person before having a big encounter we're against a level five aunt with 112 hit points i know that's metagamey but it's interesting nonetheless so that will round us out for today Join me tomorrow where we will have a lovely cup of tea with an old lady and everything will be perfectly fine and no one will die, I'm sure. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.